Hey guys, what's up? It's Drew Paint. We're playing some triple threat offline on the road to Dominic Wilkins. We are now at 658 games. We have 17 games left till our next award of a reward of 125 tokens. Ooh. And uh, yeah, you see the board there available till tomorrow. This is the 4th of August, so the 5th. So I guess today's the last day to get 10 tokens, 5,000 MT, and then one of those ovals. We've gotten three of them. We've gotten Barnett, Spencer Haywood, Rudy LaRusso, and we need Mel Daniels. We keep getting Barnett's now, so I don't know. I've never gotten all the players on the board, so hopefully we can get him today if today is the last day so here we go let's uh let's do this you know we're gonna do it so let's do this all right so now our team is i did finally get go check so we got go check go kobe go larry bird now the reason i got go check was because I actually bought the NBA's backpacks and I was able to get GOAT uh, LeBron James. And then I put him up for auction and I got enough to buy GOAT Shaq. Now I should have waited till the GOAT cards come out Friday, but I didn't, you know, I wanted the Shaq. So yeah, anyways, we're playing from the NBA's back, what, Russell Westbrook, and then buzzer beater Ralph Sampson and rewards Terry Cummings. So we shall see how this goes. All right. Nice little loading screen there. We're at 55%. Yes. All righty then. So there's the teams. I'm the Lakers, not because it's Kobe and Shaq, but just because that's my favorite team against the Hornets of Charlotte. New Orleans, sorry. All right, so Kobe up, fake, three, and he hit the front of the rim. Cummings gets Bird, Samson for the shot, he misses, Shaq grabs the rebound, Kobe, three, wide open, miss, Larry with the rebound, somehow he blows an easy layup, nobody really covering him, but it's 2K, so that's just how this game is. You know, terrible animations. Kobe step back three, missed. Shaq somehow didn't get that rebound, but it's a goat card. Like I said, it's 2K. Good block by Shaq, but he gets it back. And somehow he makes that layup with Shaq, goat Shaq, in his face. Now, I still do not understand this. I mean, yes, it's on the little harder difficulty. And Larry gets a green, but still triple anything against the computer you should never have problems with especially when you have all goat opals against regular opals or lower so you know hopefully next year they'll change that good block but somehow he gets it back again good rebound by Shaq I don't know why Kobe cuts in like that it's another dumb 2k thing they should never cut to stay on the outside because when you want them to cut they stay on the three-point line and when you don't, like in that situation, they cut in. Westbrook gets the steal and then what's his name gets the easy lay-in. And somehow Kobe's not making wide open threes, which is BS. But it's a 2K thing because they know nothing of basketball apparently. You know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There's a green finally. Jeez. All right. So now it's five to four. So yeah, oh, nice little spin move by Westbrook. Somehow Samson gets a uh, rebound over Goat Shack. So does Westbrook, and he gets the easy green lay-in, even though he had two people covering his short butt. But Kobe gets a green, bring us back in the lead again. This game is terrible, I tell you. But I, they said the 2K21 for for PS4 and Xbox One is going to be the exact same game like gameplay and stuff which sucks so no one's going to like the game again but uh, three with Shaq he makes it he got takeover nice but um, but the cool thing is if you get the game on uh, 
the current gen ros rosters, current gen systems, whatever you do, or you know, however far you get, your stats, your cards, they'll all transfer over to the next gen if you buy that console and get the game. Or put the play the game on there, I guess. So that's nice. But uh, yeah. So you know, I mean, I don't. I'm probably not gonna get the game right away. I'll wait till Christmas time or so to buy it cheaper if I get it at all. I may not even get it till June or July, just so uh, all the cards will be out and whatnot. But uh, I don't know. Because I'm not going to get a next gen system, probably at least for a year. Just because, you know, I want the bugs to be worked out. It's like when PS4 came out and Xbox One, I didn't get them. Well, I didn't get Xbox One at all. I did one too, but I like PS4. But anyways, but I didn't get PS4 until about a year after it came out. Because I wanted, you know, make sure they had the bugs worked out. I mean, there's still bugs, obviously. Because... Even though it is uh, 2020, technology still has a lot of bugs, so, you know, who, kn who knows, but anyways, <laughs> I digress, so here is the next, or we are up 16 to 11, you know, Goldberg, so, oh, nice alley-oop there, all right, I didn't, I didn't see that, I should have saw that coming, but I didn't, I don't know. I wear glasses, I can't see much. Kobe for the three. Larry, rebound, Shaq, three. Oh, he didn't make another one. I love his shot. <laughs> Shaq has the best shot ever. I love it. Like no arc to it at all. Whether it's a three pointer, free throw, mid range. It's just so exciting to watch. Kobe wide open, green bean, mid range. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Well, I haven't heard that in years, huh? But yeah. Westbrook with the three. Oh, he missed. Shaq with the rebound. I don't know what Samson was doing there. Kobe. Nope. Air ball. Samson up. Not gonna get it thanks to Mr. Shaq O'Neal. Larry with the green bean for the game winner. 21 to 13. All right, we win. It's exciting. I love this game. Oh yeah, look at that, huh? 356 MT. I mean, come on, you know? It's not much, but it is a quicker way than playing domination or anything like a normal game. Even three minute quarter games sometimes can take 30 minutes or at least 20 because you know all the subbing and the timeouts that the computer does and the, the fouls and if you do s timeouts and of course third time in a freaking row the vault doesn't. Now this is something they need to change too. If they're going to have the vault again, make it open every time. I mean, come on, this is an offline game. Like, you know, when, I mean, some days it'll open every every other time. Or, you know, three times in a row and then not open for two and then open again for two and then whatever. But sometimes, man, the other day I had like 11 in a row it didn't open. I was like, what's the point of it? And it goes, it's obviously gone on all year. There's something else they really need to either get rid of or just give us the freaking prizes. I mean, it's still going to be random. Doesn't mean you're going to get the same thing every time. You know, you can lower the MT. I mean, well, it used to be lower anyways, but like if it's lower MT in uh, tokens, well, fine. And then you have the player and make it random. I mean... But let it open every time so we get something because the amount of MT we get is just not enough, you know, it's not exciting enough, I should say. And he shouldn't have made that because Shaq's taller and it's a GOAT card, but it's 2K. Somehow Rodman, who's not a shooter at all, you know, I mean, I know it's not realistic at all, but still, other than the looks of it, oh, Kobe got that and Rodman fouled. Oh, but, you know, 
give us a, something to look forward to playing triple threat offline because this is like the worst grind of the whole game and you don't really get anything for it like every game I mean yeah there's certain points you do get the special rewards but if you're gonna have the vault have it open I mean it could just be another 200 MT or 500 or whatever besides the three or four you get for playing the game but you know it's like geez man give us a reason to play this it's like a lot of people don't even want to play it especially because the last reward is I mean he was upgraded with an evil the Dominic Wilkins but you know and that was not a foul well it was but you know I don't know what that animation was anyways but yeah give us something worth playing towards you know oh that was my fault but yeah it's like geez I mean sometimes like I said you, you can play 11 to 12 games in a row and the vault won't open at all it's like that's why people don't want to play this BS because the rewards are crap and then the, uh, the vault never opens for some people you know I mean, I've had a lot of days where I got lucky say I'd play 10 games that opened eight times not all in a row but you know which is fine but it doesn't always do that especially you know some people I mean they don't even get two in a row or even one a whole ten games like it's so stupid and, like the rewards are are like two or uh, few and far between like you know you have to like right now where I'm at in the on the board or on the list I have to play 25 games to get my next reward what kind of crap is that you should get a reward after every game whether it's just a token an extra hundred MT something and have it go up as the as you go up the list you know but just getting especially when the vault doesn't open just getting 300 or 400 MT I mean I know it, like I said it is a short game but it's just not worth it to some to a lot of people to waste time playing the game so you know yeah it's just like well fine I'm not gonna a lot of people I'm sure aren't even doing this at all so or they may do one or two to uh, just to break up the monotony of playing full games or online you know I don't know but I mean the rewards are pretty good but when they're so far in between as you get higher up the list like where I'm at it's, it's kind of like eh a lot of times I'll play one or two games a day just because I don't want to grind 25 games to get my next big reward especially if the vault's not opening that day like today I mean it did open twice for me I played like six games today already or seven but you know good block by Shaq and I like how nobody tries to get the rebound but yeah it's like man give us more rewards they don't have to be big like I said it could be an extra 100 MT for the first few you know like 10 or 20 games or whatever but you know as you go up on difficulty and aw oh, and you go you know get up higher on the list then the rewards increase and then maybe put like a player or something every 25 or every 20 games you know something other than just MT or tokens or whatever that's fine but you should get something extra every time doesn't have to be that and the vault but you know one either the vault should open every time or you should just get something extra every time and then the vault might or might not open that'd be fine good green by Dr. J I still think Dr. J has the best afro in the whole game. Woo! Go oh, Kobe. This one we win 22 to 12. Boom. Nice dunk there. Nice three pointer. So yeah. 348. Alright. Slowly but surely we're building RMT. Trying to get enough to get at least one more good opal before the year's over with so yeah so there you go huh yeah ballin
Anyways, MT, my team. A open the vault. We're gonna, of course, four freaking times or five times now. I don't know. This game.